What's up, Sunny Bunny Gang? It's your girl Sunny Bunny back at it again with another banging video you already know. And today I'm coming to you guys with a Coily Ray inspired knotless braid tutorial. Um, I love this style, I think it's so cute. So I decided to give it a try using the rubber band method. For my first time, I am so pleased by the results. I am very happy. I definitely would do this style again, okay, honey? If this is a video you will be interested in, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the Sunny Money Gang. I will first be parting my hair. I'm going to part my hair straight down and then from there I'm going to part my hair in three small sections and do that all throughout my entire head. I will now begin to add shining gel jam to the top, sides, and bottom of my hair and then rubber band it very tight to make sure my sections are very smooth, seamless, and secure.
now that you have gelled and rubber band all your sections you're going to add more shine and jam to your remaining leave out I'm going to use my crochet needle to add braiding hair to the sections that I have divided with the rubber bands. Now you're just going to separate your braiding hair with your natural hair into three pieces and begin to start your braid. You will notice me adding curly hair to my braids as I'm braiding. I'm doing this to give a boho effect so that curls can be falling from some of my knotless braids. So I'm going to be adding pieces of curly hair to my braids.
I'm going to show you guys again and break it down a little further. I'm going to wrap the braiding hair around my finger, loop it onto the crochet needle. Then I'm going to pull the crochet needle through my parted section horizontally and then pull the hair through and then i'm going to add another piece of braiding hair through my part with the crochet needle but this time vertically and pull the hair through Once I have pulled the two pieces of hair through with the crochet needle, I can begin to separate the braiding hair and my natural hair to begin my braid. Now that I have cut the ends of my braids to be even, I'm going to add mousse to my hair to make sure that my braids are laying nice and neat. I'm going to add mousse to the ends of my hair as well so that when I add the perm rods to my hair, it'll have product in it. Once the perm rods are in, I will be adding the ends of my hair into boiling hot water so that the perm rods can really set okay these are the final results get into it uh, love it so much i love it i love it i love it all in all this took me about four and a half hours i was going super slow and i was tired um but this was so easy you guys I promise you that you can do this yourself. Like, this is not anything you need to pay anybody for, okay? And if you enjoyed this tutorial and you think that it came out as cute as I think it came out, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see. And also, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you're not already a part of the gang. Love you guys. Yeah, you got a girl. Are you on me? Are you on me?